Okay, so welcome back to more Walking Dead Reactions. We're on Season 10, Episode 12 today. Last episode was really interesting. It ended off in a really good way. The survivors trapped at the gates of Hilltop. And they can't get in because the whole thing's burning. You've got a herd coming towards them. You've got the whispers coming towards them. So God knows how they're going to get out of that. I said last episode was probably one of my favourite episodes of the season. And I still stand by that. But I guarantee you this episode is going to beat that 10 times over. So it's going to absolutely destroy that episode. Because from what I've seen, everyone who's watched the episode already, they have said this is probably their favourite episode of the season. And that's multiple people saying it. It's not just like one or two people. This is like a good fucking five or more people saying it so i am super hyped for this i'm expecting non-stop war from like start to finish of this episode um and they've done all the emotion last episode so anyone could die really or anyone could get fatally injured I, I don't know i don't know what the hell to expect i've seen one sneak peek for this episode i'm not sure if there was any more release but the one i did see was aaron coming in contact with negan which is a fucking really interesting scene because he's seen him in a whisper's mask and what can Negan say? Negan can't say anything at that point. Aaron already hates him, even though Negan saved his life. But you got to remember, all this, just because Negan saved his life, he, he did kill Eric and he did do all this shit. Not directly killed him, but indirectly killed him and stuff like that. So you wouldn't be so easy to, forg to forgive him if he was Aaron. But still, it'd be a start. Um, but Aaron, he's having none of it. He doesn't like Negan at all. And to see him in the Whisperer's mask is just the nail in the coffin. Like He's not going to forgive him. And I don't know how Negan's ever going to get in their good books. The only way he's going to get in their good books is if a certain comic book moment happens where he kills Alpha. That is the literally the only thing. Like, that is the only thing. There is nothing else he can do. So I truly believe that's going to happen. But like I said, I'm split between who's going to actually kill her. If it's going to be Carol or if it's going to be Negan, we'll have to wait and see. But I'm not going to, have to talk for too long. So as always, before I start these videos, I'll be uploading the full uncut reaction to my Patreon. It's me reacting to the entire episode. So if you are interested in that, the link to my Patreon will be down below in the description. But as for now... I hope you enjoy the video. Yeah, it's jumping right into it. I expected nothing less, but you never know. Because sometimes they switch to like Alexandria or something. But Daryl with that fucking morning star thing is sick. Just swinging it around. I'll never walk with her. Hilltops fucked, man. How the hell are they rebuilding all this? Where's Judy? Oh no, where's Judy? She's gone to fight, isn't she? Look, what a badass, just like her mum. Oh shit, that's a whisper. Yo, she's killed a... That's her first human kill, isn't it? Oh, don't be a part of the whispers then, mate, and it won't happen. Okay, Get fucked. Okay, okay. When Negan finds out that Judy's been there, that's going to be the nail in the coffin. I don't know how he's going to find out, maybe a seer or some shit, I don't know, like, from the distance. Uh... Bro, now, look, look, now is not the time to go and save your radio, you're in the middle of a fucking battle, man. you got a location, it's not like you're never going to communicate again. Fucking hell, Hilltop's going to be literally just ashes off this, dust, nothing. Yeah, no way! She'd done the gut trick to get out. Where the hell's Connie then? She's kind of stupid doing that though. I mean, all it takes is a sh someone who doesn't recognise you to shoot, and you're you're dead. Like, would you really do that? Oh ho, ho, shit! Such a dick. <laughs> Wait, look. I beg them if they're going to keep something like the comics, please keep the fight they have. I beg you, please do that. I have a feeling they may have like they may remix that with Daryl again though or something. What is that walker walker? Like? It's like fucking shimmy and like it's dancing to some shit. Yeah, what the fuck happened to Luke? Of your bullshit! Why are they not going directly after Negan after he's been speaking? I suppose it's because. They can literally see Aaron. He's not wearing a walker mask or anything, so. Oh, that was Lydia he saw. Yo, what the fuck? Sorry, kid. This is all he's trying to. He's, they're trying to fuck about. Negan's not doing this. I am telling you now. Negan is not a part of the Whisperers. He's not. Try talking normal. Oh, I am talking normal, aren't I? Give him to his auntie. 
It's enough that I let her come along. There's no way she's getting her hands on this kid. Move away now. Bro, you were a savior. Are we forgetting this that you were a savior? Be quiet. No offense, mate, but you're in no position to be demanding shit. Finally. I won't be so against it if he weren't a part of the saviors before and he's trying to... Like, mate, you were in her position at one point. You do realise that. Uh-oh. She knows when... She knows when something's... When they're around. So this is the trailer part then, this is what was in the trailer. It's probably not a smart thing to do though, is it? You want, why would you want to trap yourself even more? You'd just keep running. She can lead them away. No, that's... Oh, if the whispers catch you, you are fucking dead. Someone's here. Knew it. Oh shit! She ripped his mask off! Man. I still I saw it coming a mile off though. I knew she wasn't gonna become a part of the group, like I've just wait, been waiting for her to die. It's you. What? Your voice sounded familiar, but <laughs> Yo, so that was him in Fear the Walking Dead, and I think that was confirmed anyway, but like, that's what he was referring to, innit? Oh, baby, that's his fucking bolt into the woods. You know, maybe instead of ignoring her, you try begging for forgiveness after the shit you put her through. I mean, she's right. That's what she had to go through. <laughs> fucking hell! Holy shit! If that was Carol on any other day, your ass would be dragged across those woods. Once over after seeing you take a cherry cheesecake like that to the kisser. Cherry cheesecake to the kisser. Like, <sighs> Gee, man. Oh, Lydia. All oh, right, of course. It took me a minute to realize what that was then. Shit. It's Carol's gonna go looking. It feels like it's still burning. Almost there, baby. Almost there. Is she gonna die? The actress of her put a um a weird tweet up the other day saying like it's been a hell of a journey. And people are like, that's too obvious. Is it bait or what? I don't reckon it is, you know, she's seriously injured here. You all are so good. Oh looks like he's about to turn, you know, he looks really pale and shit. Oh, Yo, is he bit or something? He looks really pale and stuff. Something's up with him. Something's up with him. I don't give a fuck. Bless him. He died protecting the kids. Where's Ezekiel, for fuck's sake? I'm trying to scare us, because that's the gloves, sort of gloves he wears. Okay, so it was him, but he's just not. <laughs> well, fucking hell. I won't worry then, as soon as I saw the gloves. Yo. Ouch. The fucking eye. Why is it always the fucking eye? It makes me cringe every time. Hey, buddy. Oh, RJ just runs to give Uncle Daryl a hug. A certain moment's gonna happen here. It's gonna. He is not. He's not giving her to think. This is all a play of some sort. It's gotta be. You live here every day. It's gonna happen, innit? It's gonna happen. I can feel it. <sighs> Fucking thought it was gonna. I thought something was gonna happen then because you mentioned his wife and you saw him look, looking quite angry. Shit, man. This is throwing me off big time. This has got to be the moment. This is the only time they're alone. Here we go, he's reaching for something, he's reaching for something, he's reaching for something, I swear he is. 
Just, you can just do it, man. Now is the, the only chance you're going to get. Yeah, 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 look, go, 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 do it, 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 do it. That's the wrong cabin. Oh my god, he's done it, he's done it. <laughs> oh shit. Oh fuck. Go on, Negan. There we go, you've been played, bitch. Fucking hell, yes, yes, Negan. Yo, it happened just like the fucking cop. Well, in the same, the way he's holding her and stuff. <laughs> he cut her head off as well. Oh, Negan, I love you. I love you. Took you long enough. Knew it. I knew it. Well, it wasn't me who made that up, but because I, I saw that, and not enough people were speaking about it. I saw like one person mention it. In one of the YouTube comments ages ago, and I thought, you know what? That makes a lot of sense, and I've had that in my mind because it really does make sense. They mentioned how there's been no one that has. We don't know how he can get out or anything, and then I, that didn't click to me for some reason. I was like, we actually don't know that, and it, so it was. That is perfect. That was the perfect way to do that. Fuck you, Alpha. Like I said, perfect way for Alpha to go out. Um, you had that little emotional conversation about him and his wife, and how, and I think Alpha sort of realised that. She reminds him of his wife, maybe. Um, so you had all that, and then going up to the cabin, and then the, the reveal was done so well, and she realised she got played, and then the slash of Alpha's throat took her head off, and she's gone. Man, what an episode! What an episode! Like I said, I knew that um, that Carol thing was gonna be true because I was so split in the middle. I was like, I hope Carol, I hope Carol does, it, but I hope Negan does it, and. It, that, it, it, it just went perfectly like because they both got the satisfaction of it it was Carol's idea Negan was the one to execute it so it was a 50-50 thing like it was perfect because I said multiple times it needs to be both of them but you can't have both of them kill him that was the only way to do it so fantastic episode definitely the best of the season so far but I feel like honestly I feel like it's only going to get get better I think the next episode will probably be a bit slower than this but I think when it gets more to, to the end like the finale episode I think it's going to be chaotic man but the Commonwealth storyline is very slow and and boring and it's it's just not not great so but i know they'll definitely do it so that was the walking dead season 10 episode 12 i hope you enjoyed this video and as always cheers for watching